sometimes I still pee my bed, and I have blackout moments where I lose time and can't remember what I was doing, so sue me. Put your mouth up, I can't quite hear you, and then dick in the mouth every time. Every time. All for it. Every single every time. time. Oh, what if I get jumped and someone tries to eat my ass? After today's episode, it became very apparent that you guys need to take a break every once in a while. <laughs> and I've never known two dads so very pretty in my life. Welcome back to the Dapper Dads, everybody. <laughs> episode 88. 88, the big 88. Turn it yeah. sideways. It's two infinity two symbols. Two infinities because and beyond. Because there's two dads, and we'll never, ever stop doing this, apparently, okay. because I have signed Okay, a don't load. bring me down right away. Don't bring me down. I don't uh, need that. In my mind, what that I think is never going to end. Yeah, I think about it sometimes more and more recently that it just never ends. No, it doesn't. It's never going to stop. And people never want it to end. No, people like because if we got, but not enough people to justify. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. Six people. Yeah, six people don't want it to end. So like, if we stopped, they'd be sad for a couple of days and then yeah. find something else to listen to. So everybody, you need to tell three of your friends. We're a word of mouth brand here. Yeah, tell three of your friends. Play it for them. Show it to them. If show they don't them like it. Don't be friends with them. I don't know what. Yeah, because you if you if you if, P, if you show people this fine ass product and yeah. they're not all about it, they are not people you need to be hanging around. No, pick your pick pick a good episode. It's not easy anymore. It's not easy anymore. They're in there. there. There's there's some there's some uh, there's some niblets of corn in the pile of shit that we call the Dapper Dads mm-hmm. here. Yes, we haven't done introductions in a while. I'm Slim. <laughs> I'm Drama. We did them not that long ago. <laughs> yeah, we need to do them more just in case people are popping in. I don't think that anyone's popping in. Hey, people are popping in. If you're popping in, go to www.thedapperdads.com and anonymously submit why and what your thoughts were. Give us honest feedback. Uh, unless it's bad, then of course shut your fucking mouth. And or tell us if you think it's bad. We've only really yeah, got one critique bad. ever. Yeah, and, it was and just that an... guy got eight. I think he's dead now. Yeah, I don't want to say anything that would implicate anything, but uh, he's no longer with us, and he never will be. And he's made a grave mistake. And he's also a grave made, mistake. And he's also made out of gravy now. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what happens if you're not a fan. Your body turns to gravy slowly in slowly. a very yeah. disturbing yeah. metamorphosis. That it's you like can't the fly, control. but instead of a fly, it's you, gravy. You know how hard it is saying goodbye to your wife and children as your face turns into gravy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard. Yeah, your kids gonna never forget that. No, they're gonna remember when daddy and then turned into gravy because they're gonna he doesn't be like a, the dapper dad. They're gonna be at school and they're gonna be like, my that's gravy and now they're in special ed classes because yeah. they don't seem like and they don't deserve the to be there they no. they don't have any you want that on your fridge you want a picture of them showing how you're gravy yeah is that what you want do you, do you want to get called right. in and He's talk crazy. to the school counselor about why your son drew daddy as a puddle of gravy yeah but you come in as a puddle of gravy and the uh, school counselor quits <laughs> he quits his whole I've life seen a lot of shit your wife brings you in in a container and just opens <laughs> up the tupperware lid and you're like Ugh. hey nice <sighs> to see you i heard uh timmy's been uh, just a mouth <laughs> and like Big yeah. eyes, no lids, just floating in the gravy. <laughs> it's always open. But also eyelashes they, for some reason. The eyes dip into the gravy to keep them moist. Yeah, that's what it says. So they keep, but they got to pop in and out like yeah. one after the other like that. Yeah, off. Yeah, instead yeah, off of a kilter. blink. Yeah, yeah if a blink, they it's just like dip in and blink. dip out. But the mouth will keep talking while they're yeah. doing it. The and occasionally the eye, an eyeball slips in the mouth. The gravy still expects sex like, for some reason. Oh, of course it does. <laughs> But... <laughs> oh, I'm just picturing how yeah. it would work. I was pi- I'm picturing you're just like squatting over the gravy container, or does as she a have... woman? I, so if if you're the husband and you okay. get turned into gravy, uh-huh. because with the man it kind of made. I de- uh, well actually, yeah. I mean, if you, I was yeah, do if you my just wife come turned into the gravy, I don't think you should do, come in the gravy. She's gonna you... get fat because <laughs> you're adding liquid to liquid. You know, no offense to her, she's still beautiful. What if she di- could she digest the gr- come as gravy? Um, I don't know, but it did remind me we did get a text with some clarification. I want to keep going on this gravy train, of course. Okay, yeah, but... uh, Remind me. Later in the Um, show to clarify some cum digestion. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) We're Um, on brand, baby! But yeah, as a woman having sex with the gravy... Yeah, do you just, like, squat? Oh, yeah, do you just, like... (laughs) Yeast infection, though? I mean, probably. Or do you just, like, put your pussy over the container... (laughs) And what let does the that mouth do? lap it oh, up. Oh, but like, that's let not... the mu- I mean, it's not sex, but like, no, there's not a not penis. It's a container all. of gravy. I think if you put gravy in some gravy, do boat, you get put like gravy a, in gravy boat, get, and then you just get a uh, like a container mm-hmm. that that's like a dildo. <laughs> you're re- but you, you're you, really on the container. You can fill it up, okay? Because your your life's in containers if you're made out of gravy. Mm. How else are you going to exist? You're a viscous liquid. 
It's it's so your life is wrong. in containers. I'd like to be in bags from time to time to feel a little bit free. A, a bag is a container. I understand. When and they, I knew you were going to be a dick about that. When you're, in your, when you're in your cubicle at work, do you feel like you're in a cell? No. Hmm. My cubicle at work is a jail cell. You know I'm on work release. <laughs> and and I, it's for this. I know. Yeah, they only want you hours. I get four hours a week to come do this. and uh, Breathe outside air, and then you got to go back to making license plates. Yeah. For Michael Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker. I'm I'm saying like a dildo Mm -hmm. that you can like fill up. So it's like, you know, I'm pretty sure that exists. You know, like those soap container, those soap scrubbers things you can get where it's like the sponge connected to the yeah, plastic yeah, yeah. and you fill it up mm-hmm. with like that okay. but it's a dildo and you fill mm-hmm. it up with the gravy okay and the eyeballs and the mouth and the wife uses it well you could put the eyeballs something else then you get a third view you know what i mean because if you <laughs> can you it right feel it as the great do you get something as the gravy from her using you I in a dildo so. okay no, but like I the shaking imagine. or Maybe because I, I mean, like that's your body, so like yeah, I feel, but it's not. But, so how do you get? Penis. How do you get sexual releases gravy? Then I don't think you do. That's sad. Yeah, it's very sad. It's an yeah. epidemic that no one wants to talk about. But I guess if you don't have testicles or anything, you don't really have like. I'd imagine everything's in there. Are there organs in this gravy? Uh, no, I was thinking just gravy with I eyeballs was also and a mouth just gravy, But top. I feel like but it, now it's or- more interesting with this loose organs floating around. So just the bones. I think we can get rid of the bones at that point. So just the bones. Someone has to, though. Bones, skin, hair, nails, and blood have all turned into gravy. Okay, yeah. I'd but like a couple of the, nails floating around okay. there just this to ruin getting everything. getting gross. Who's going to have sex with this? <laughs> My loving fucking wife. That, that is a woman right there. If you yeah. get turned into gravy and she accommodates you, you like married, this. If you get married, you need to make sure that the fucking guy standing there, whoever this guy is, whoever it's gotta says be. through sickness and, and health, health happiness and, and sadness sure <laughs> physical <laughs> well-being and gravy and gravy yeah leave it at that <laughs> just leave it but at that. that holds you down May, she can't divorce you if if she does she'll be shunned by the community yeah it's basically course. like getting a divorce if you're catholic if you leave your husband when he turns into gravy yeah it's like uh, if you're married and your wife gets cancer and you leave her because you don't want to deal with that when i was growing up the principal at the school did that and then he got together with the teacher (laughs) so he just wanted to get together with the teacher he was looking for an out he gave his wife cancer cervical cancer smoking too many cigarettes must have looked in her own butthole (laughs) yeah he showed it to her. It's like the ring video. He had it he on his phone. He goes, her own. No, because then that's just a picture. That's like, no, you have to actually physically see your own. Okay, so he cut out her anus and he showed it to her. Rough. Yeah, very Scary. Rough. Yeah, that poor man. He had to go through all that. <laughs> yeah, that poor man that poor had man. to go through all that just to get a young, hot wife who mm. wasn't even that young or hot. But she's a teacher and we're all weirdly attracted hot to for teachers. Teacher? Yeah. yeah, we've all heard the Van Halen song. Might as well jump. Jump. Um, go to adapterdadspodcast at gmail.com. So go to your email provider probably and then and type that in there and put a subject and a body because otherwise it'll pop up and say, you want to send this without a subject and a body? And you're like, of course I do. Call it Van Halen drum covers. Yeah, Van Halen drum covers, but then get really into the, the gravy hypothetical. Tell us what you think. Yeah, happen. let us know. Let us know. But we're only looking at ones that are the subject is Van Halen, Halen drum, drum covers. covers. If it doesn't yeah. say Van Halen drum covers, we're not going to respond. Yeah. Or even read it. We're just going to delete no. it. Yeah. I have a, I have a, I'm going I have to a assume filter. I have a it's spam a filter for everything that's not Van, Van Halen, Halen drum, drum covers. covers. And we haven't gotten an email since, so everything seems to be working top wait, notch. Wait a minute. 4027 Dapper. That's 4027327737. Scream about gravy into the phone. Just scream about just gravy. Scream. Just a guttural scream like your wife just got hit by a rock <laughs> oh no that's a separate thing i know go to www.patreon.com slash dapper dads to understand that reference if you want it <laughs> scream like you walked in on your husband turning into gravy scream and you're a man and you didn't know you were gay so not only did you just find out you're in a gay marriage but now he's gravy <laughs> and you get to fuck the gravy though mm. but you shouldn't come in the gravy but where do you come Hmm, I don't know. You can come a lot of places. You can pretty much come anywhere you want. You it's literally, your house. You, you can don't come do it in all other people's houses. No, you can only do it in their bathroom. Yeah, don't do it in their. Don't do it in their extra bedroom when they're asleep. Um, follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads. We're gonna probably tweet about gravy at some point this week. Absolutely, yeah, Slim's gonna be Slim's gonna be tweeting out the best gravy recipes. Yeah, we'll be looking into making gravy. Tweet us your best gravy recipe. Yeah, yeah. Give us some good. I love, good I gravy. love making good I, gravy. I love gravy. Good gravy. Good, gravy. good God, O'Malley. 
I uh, I think the only good thing at KFC is their mashed potatoes and gravy. And, oh. and according to Colonel Sanders, before he died, they made his mashed potatoes taste like cardboard and his gravy taste like paste. Mm. Well, he was a racist, so who cares? Yeah, true. Uh, follow us at Dapper Dad's Podcast on Instagram. Report the we'll, profile. Yeah, report that's Dapper at Dad. Dapper Dad's on we Instagram. Don't report us on Twitter. No, don't love it's us on getting Twitter. Getting confused. Gravy on Twitter. Gravy report on Twitter. Dapper Dad's, but not Dapper Dad's Podcast. Yeah, make sure you got or that. Or Are you us. writing this down? <laughs> Listen, I'm talking directly to you for once. We're going to break down this whatever wall that would be. And I'm talking to you right now. This is do what we just said. Drama. We're talking to Why, you. The you only you, it, just you. Not in you have. Not you've showed else. three friends. They're all big fans. They're listening to it. But right now, we're talking. We're to only you. talking to you. This is going to be a Dapper Dad's ASMR experience where mm-hmm. we talk only to you. How's it going? Hey, How you doing, buddy? I it's hope, your friends. I hope everything's looking up. I hope everyone who listens to us is inherently sad. I hope Things that you have better. a beautiful family. Oh. I hope that you have a beautiful life. I hope that you have someone, a partner, who loves you. And if you don't, I hope you have friends and family that make you feel validated when you feel sad. And we're back. Uh, And yeah, go do uh, whatever the hell that all was. Something about gravy. Um, Wonder how gravy's doing. Shout out gravy. Yeah, shout out gravy. We miss you. Um... So yeah, we got a we got a text that says if you swallow cum, you do shit it out. You don't piss it out. Where's the science? Where's the proof? I'm I need assuming proof. it's a woman who's been through the experience. Okay, but oh, that's but, that the, doesn't count. The details were sketchy. What I got was just that it said, "Sorry to break it to you, Slim, but you shit out cum." I'm gonna find this text. And then they followed it up with a YouTube video. That is, you you know that ad from like old porn where it's like, why are you, why are you, what are you doing, jerking off by yourself? It's that, and then the camera switch over, and it's a group of guys, and they go, no, I'm with my boy. Yeah, I saw and that. That was that was. I weird. loved that. <laughs> you jerking off by yourself right now? No, I'm with my boys. I thought of you guys immediately. I know I was it like... was it was very perfect. Um, I opened it at an inappropriate place of course as i tend to do when people send me everything from that to tiana trump sex videos that are currently like gifts that are playing as soon as i open them when did we get this text i can't find it it was this week you can't find anything you never reply well this is the app i don't know or that's yeah you know the person it's the first one well that's a man oh well see I don't. I don't know. Well, so, then. and I can. So. I guarantee if th- if this man has swallowed cum, I need to know about it. <laughs> well, yeah, reach out. Um, maybe he's into some specific. You totally shit out cum when you swallow a load. Sorry, Slim. See, uh, for, th- first of all, it's a man answering it, so it's completely invalid right now. No, completely maybe he's invalid. into like a specific fetish, or he's seen his uh, partner. Listen, man, I know who you are, and I know you're listening to this show, and if you're into swallowing cum, I just wish you would tell me. Yeah, we don't shame you. No, there's no shame. I just need to know. Yeah, we need to know about swallowing cum. Yeah, we need to know. Maybe he watches videos where women shit out cum. I I mean, okay. It's out there. Yeah, but usually it's when dudes shoot a load into a woman's ass if it's a video where they're shitting out cum. It's not like they're They're digested the cum. Well, I've never watched it. I watched it. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I may have seen it on accident or something. Yeah, I accidentally came across it. Just doing a little, you know. uh, I accidentally came. (laughs) Doing a Pornhub hole and just. uh, You ever watch porn and you know that that, and it's like an amateur couple. And you know that they don't have a healthy relationship. Yeah. And it bums you out. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't that? Because, like, you can see how they're interacting. Like, yeah. Throughout, and and you can feel it's the aggressive, vibe. It's aggressive, but it's not It's not, right. like, the good yeah. aggressive. You could it's tell, like... like yeah, there was there was a lot there of was passive one, aggressive. There was one I saw like that recently no, where I, it was. I know like, I watched the same one it, over your shoulder. Ah, yeah, that yeah. makes perfect sense. But like, saw a lot. The guy was like trash talking the girl, which I guess was yeah. like kind of the point of it. But mm-hmm. then like some of it seemed really personal. Yeah, you know? I know. And like she seemed kind of upset by some of it while yeah. she was choking on the dick, and I'm like. I don't know how I feel about this one. Yeah, I like to think that we're watching. The I don't same like one. watching porn that makes me feel questionable. Yeah, and it happens so much on accident. Yeah, all you the time I mean? on accident because you see like the little stills and you're like, "This, this is where it's checking gonna, out. Yeah, this is gonna be." Then right you start getting out. invested in it right away, <laughs> and then uh, you have an emotional connection with the actress, and mm-hmm. then uh, you're really, really sad for what she has to go through. Yeah, some of them are yeah very bad. I like very targeted. Yeah, insults in my in my porn. Uh huh. 
Like, uh, yeah, we know. Like, yeah, you I got know. that. You got that speeding ticket, and I told you there's always a cop sitting there, you stupid bitch. Things like that, like a very deep level where you're like, well, they didn't really know each other. Some of them are like just too personal, though. Like, I still hate you for getting that abortion, bitch. And it's like, yeah, you are on the wrong sites, my friend. <laughs> I'm on the normal or porn the... sites. No, you're. I, I know what you're on, and it's X and XX is very normal. That's not normal. It's very normal. No, that's tell like... me. I I would like people to phone into the show and let me know if they think it's normal or not. It's definitely a low tier. Lowbrow. It's my preference. <laughs> yeah, you should I'm be, lowbrow. You should be in jail. <coughs> Probably. Yeah. I watch watch normal porn. I do. Mm, no. Nothing on XNXX is normal. That's debatable. And I will debate it until I die. <laughs> I will use my last breath to before let you t- everyone know. <laughs> yeah, before that, you turn it'll into sound gravy. like that. Yeah, when I No, once I'm gravy, all I'm gonna do is <laughs> campaign to get x and x and xx shut down local gravy man tries to shut down popular porn site or just a picture of your container open on a podium looking really angry yeah your eyeballs are just... <laughs> yeah Flipping. my eyeballs slipped into my mouth along with three fingernails oh and some hair my wife has to scoop them out your poor wife yeah she's standing a there, fucking st- angel standing there dressed like jackie o looking very poised with a ladle to scoop the eyes out so she doesn't get any gravy on her nice white gloves yeah yeah, horrible decision. Or hey, she wants to look good. She wants to represent you well. Just I because mean, you're gravy why, doesn't mean she's not your loving wife. That's why this marriage has lasted 15 years. Yeah, hey, man, 15 years is better than nothing. I came across a um, what they were calling a psychopathic riddle. Okay. Uh, it apparently is a riddle that is meant to. There's like a, the answer of it. If you come up with it indicates that you have like a psychopathic mindset okay so of course i did it and i instantly came up with the answer so then i felt bad and odd do you have the riddle on i hand? do have the riddle and i want to see if you are able to match me on this okay um i also looked into it further and they're like there's this is just some shit that came like there is like the the answer does point in a weird direction but this isn't concrete like there's no you like, know what I yeah mean? you can't base a, it off it's not of a, a diagnosis yeah you yeah. can do the test which i've done and i scored a little higher than i like on that as well um but then i went through and i changed my answers and i scored real low and i felt fine um but yeah let me actually find it because it's worded Just like on your sats <laughs> yeah which one is that is that the two digit or the three digit what the sats yeah i think it's the three digits <laughs> see no one ever knows this I and then know. Yeah, because I fucking, I did real good on the two number one. I don't remember the three number one. I don't think I did good on either one of them. I can guarantee you did. (laughs) But yeah, I want to find the actual like question so you can give it to me because it's worded very weird. Well, I mean, you also you can't be like, oh, this is a diagnosis based off a riddle. Yeah, that's what I like. I said. But I mean, they say that about like everything that you find online, like all those tests and everything that you take. Nothing is like concrete. Well, yeah, because you can't diagnose someone off of fucking random riddles and tests. But yeah, this is the actual wording. It's just worded very weird. Okay. Um, you want to like not be on your phone? No, there's something I wanted to talk about this okay. week that I took a screenshot of that I'm looking for. So just read to me while you're doing this. No, I'm gonna need your full attention because it's a riddle. Yes, and sir. You need to get it because I need you to get it to justify me getting it right okay. away. Um, while at her own mother's funeral, a woman meets a guy she doesn't know. She thinks this guy is amazing, her dream man, and is pretty sure he could be the love of her life. However, she never asks for her his name or number and afterwards <clears throat> could not find anyone who knows who he was a few days later she kills her own sister why did she kill her sister and i would like everyone listening once we divulge the answer if you got it right away so you can make me feel less crazy or if you just give us your answer because i had another idea pop in my head briefly but a man that nobody knows. Yeah. While at her own mother's funeral, a woman meets a guy she doesn't know. She thinks the guy's amazing, dream man, pretty sure he could be the love of her life. However, she never gets his name, number, and afterwards no one knows who he was. A few days later, she kills her own sister. Why did she kill her sister? 
because that was her other female relative. So she figured if there was another death in the family, the same person would show up to the funeral because if they knew her mother, they would know her sister. Too. There you go. You're a psychopath with me. But <laughs> 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 the weirdest, you were clearly trying to sub it down. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, no, yeah. <laughs> what a crazy riddle. I just thought oh, that that upset me. Yeah, I got it. Like, yeah, right away. And I, then I was like. Mm, i think that's just the that just makes sense i don't think that makes me crazy no it's i mean it's the, the thing i read just, is because it indicates that you like don't value life to get an answer or what you want i d- didn't say i would personally do i know it. that I was just, my i just said right. that that i was very I, angry i started contemplating yeah, the, killing a bunch of people the, the, the question thing. wasn't what would i do the question is yeah. why did she do it that's what i mean i think it's flawed but i wanted to see what you would think and i'm yeah. glad we're both psycho all right so if you had the same answer let us know let yeah, us know if you are also know. a psychopath we can start a club if you're a psychopath you can probably be in the dapper cult yeah the, yeah you definitely gotta have uh psychopathic tendencies and you got to listen to Suicidal Tendencies, <laughs> that song about not getting a Pepsi, specifically. <laughs> Just that Just one. Just that one. No, over name another Suicidal Tendencies song. I can't even name one. Yeah, there's that one, and it's about, like, all I wanted was one Pepsi, and my mom wouldn't give me a Pepsi. <laughs> yeah, Ray Romano was the singer of Suicidal Tendencies. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, that was pre-Raymond. He, he led a crazier life than he got tied down with the wife and kids because that shows a reality the, one of the first reality tv shows everybody loves raymond it's crazy what yeah. mussolini did after the war yeah, it's insane um but yeah so we're both psychopaths that's good i feel more comfortable you should take a psychopath test let me know what you score i'm in the high 80s send, out me, of send me the link for the one you took so we can take the same one i got 80 out of 20 okay so i don't uh, know what that means that's a very, i think i'm good that's an odd number to yeah i did extra credit 80 out of 20 yeah i did extra credit no, I did it again and... Uh, changed your answers. Yeah, changed my answers. I did it... Yeah, when I did it again, I went in knowing that I didn't want to score as high, so I wasn't as truthful. And, I mean, I think it's a day-by-day case. Some days, yeah, maybe I, you know, don't get, don't value life. Well, and some days you do and some days you, you don't, know, you know? Sue me. I mean, sue me. Some, yeah. d- some days I torture animals and play with fire. What are you yeah. going to do about it? Some days I get a major head injury when I was young and pee my bed for way too long. Sometimes I still issue. pee my bed and yeah. I have blackout moments where I lose time and can't remember yeah. what I was doing. So Sometimes a small inconvenience sets me into a rage where I can fantasize everybody. Sometimes dying. I get this specific headache and the only thing that makes it go away is hurting someone yeah i've definitely mixed sexual pleasure with pain yeah i have absolutely mixed hating someone with sex and gotten too physically violent yep so yeah chime in please god make us feel normal yeah um don't take tests online they never they never get you what you want you know it's like WebMD. if you self-diagnose yourself you're just gonna go down a bad hole that's the problem me that's the problem with the tumblr generation is they all self-diagnose themselves and they don't realize it's just like WebMD, where it's just like oh your back hurts you for sure have back cancer or your back is falling out there's only two things that could happen if your back is hurting like that Yeah, this goddamn tumblr generation and they get rid of their porn well, because they well they get rid of the porn and then they just go on the internet and they're like i'm sad and everyone's like it's because you have depression yeah well, I think everyone is depressed. I think everybody has a mixture of emotions that they feel all the time, sometimes more than others. And I think people sometimes try to identify with emotions and it Here's causes bad things. Dr. Slim. <laughs> That's he's just got his lab think. coat on. His stethoscope that he's putting to his own ear. The part that goes to a, d- a different person's body. I don't know. I, I didn't hear <laughs> my own heart. Yeah, it sounds like the ocean. Yeah, you don't want to hear your heart. No, my heart. Your heart great. does sound like the there, ocean. There was there's a lot of wispy <laughs> gas. <laughs> there was one time somebody uh like was aware that I had a heart condition, but still was like laying their head on my chest and w- was still like, "What is up with your heart?" And yeah. I was like, "It stays." I that get that way. though too, because they're like, it'll be like boop 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 boop. Yeah, you got anxiety. That's your thing. Boop, boop. Yeah, especially if someone's laying on my chest. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of yeah, here. What are they gonna do? I just... don't need this extra stress. I don't need this weight. I, sl- I took a nap waiting for my bus. I didn't expect to wake up like this. But I woke up like this. How many... Another thing I came across on the internet that I need us to be aligned on. Otherwise, it's going to ruin this friendship further. How many chuggas before you choo-choo? Two. Chugga, chugga, choo-choo. No, that's the wrong Are you answer. a psycho that says one? No, that's oh, absolutely insane. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I was so I am also relieved you're not a oh, chug of choo choo. <laughs> because that's... that let's shake hands that that yeah. is nuts, okay? At least yeah, that. that's insanity. 
What kind chugga of monster choo choo? Choo. What do you do? Say four? Yeah. No. Chugga 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 choo choo. That's a long ass train. I was reading people. <laughs> I was reading eight. 12 chugga then, chugga 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 choo choo how much time do you have in your day i guess what i'm saying how then, lazy is your the day? one that takes the cake for me out of insanity. <laughs> you do the batman theme so chugga 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 choo choo that's in that person you're just does everything wrong you're doing everything to get they wipe their ass laying down they do all kinds of weird things that's like what are you what are you doing how does that even come chugga 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 now it's my head though i know it is now but it's still wrong because mine always goes because when i think of it i think of when there was that movie unstoppable about the train that couldn't stop and the whole time it was going chugga 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 no because uh snl did a parody of it of like a trailer and jay farrell was denzel washington and at one point he goes chugga chugga choo choo ha <laughs> boom and then like the train goes into like a bus full of senior citizens or something <laughs> and so that i think chugga chugga choo because oh, you gotta have an so equal have a... no- well you gotta it makes sense you gotta have an equal number of chuggas with chews chugga chugga choo choo no i don't agree with that there's an o- when you, you do... just can't have an odd amount of chuggas it's yeah you like can't have one specific. you can't have chugga three. chugga chugga choo choo yeah you can't like and you can't stop in the middle one you can't go chugga chugga cha choo choo you can't well, like yeah. that's there's oh, a lot of what's worse the batman theme or stopping at two and a half chuggas i think the batman theme somehow. chugga 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 <laughs> yeah. chugga 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 it chugga works choo, choo. once it's implanted in your head but this is another one of those things leader, where you're like i'm doing leader. the only option you right. know what i mean yeah because like, like you just think the way you do it yeah, is right that's my like favorite thing to app. find on here yeah. yeah it's like i didn't know there were going to be other options because I've ran this by people, and I've gotten a lot of four chuggas. I've honestly gotten really? nothing but four chuggas. I've gotten nothing but two chuggas when I ask around about it. No. Well, everybody, get get at us about the gravy, the psychopath, and, and the, the chuggas. chuggas. Give us we, three we quick ones. We need answers. Yeah. Specifically the chuggas. Chugga, 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 Because. Chugga, leader. <laughs> I just. Yeah, I don't have enough time for. This one for, looks like the leader. I don't have enough time for a Batman length. Chugga. I don't have enough time for four chuggas. Well, yeah, I don't know what you're doing. But... Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Quick, efficient, equal amounts no, of chuggas and that's chews. not enough time of the train traveling. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. No, just because you slow it down doesn't change anything. I just don't think it chugga, 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 chugga choo, choo, choo. I get what you're saying, yeah. but like, I, I, at least I like we're it. not. I at least we're not singles. <laughs> at least we're not one, and we're not Batman, and we're not twelve. Or can you imagine over. the type of like old like farmers sitting on rocking chairs in front of the convenience store? Time you gotta have to do twelve chuggas. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's no, I don't have. But I can't think of a day I've had enough time for twelve. The chuggas. ultimate monster goes chugga 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 choo choo. Yeah, or yeah, it's twelve. That man, 12 should, that man should be executed in public as yeah. an ex, as an example. I would to, love, to others. I would love to execute that man in public as an example to others. Yeah, you gotta yeah keep your. I mean, yeah, I'll accept two. I think it's the only other valid answer. Because what's six like? Chugga, 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 choo. Yeah, that's, that's also just, very oh, That weird. felt gross. Yeah. Four, I, I think four is the only I will answer, graciously but accept four, but yeah, I'm sticking I'll, with two. Ag- I'll agree. I'll accept your two as the only other option. Like Everything it. else is I insanity. like it when we meet in the middle. Yeah. Like this. Well, yeah. I, I, at first, I was disgusted by two, but after learning... Re- Hearing one and Batman or twelve, I've realized too <laughs> that is, maybe I could be worse. Yeah, you could. Yeah, I I relish in any time you're not as bad as it could be because a lot you. of times you are yeah. worse than I thought it could be. Name so one. So I don't have time. I don't have twelve chugga time, and I don't have time to get into how bad you can be. So anytime you yeah, you get like a C. You know what I yeah. mean? You're a F student most of the time. Thank you. There's like one A that we're all like, holy shit. And when you get a C, people like want to throw you a parade yeah. because you're, yeah. It's like when you're in a relationship and you treat her real bad. So then when you do nice things, it looks real good. Are you not supposed to do that? Uh, it's all up to each other. Oh, this might be another time where shit. you're worse than we thought. Shit. <laughs> I gotta go. Yep. <laughs>
She's got things to do. I got some phone calls to make and some apologies to say, baby. A lot of phone calls. That apology tour is going to be long. The apology tour is going to go across seven cities and multiple just days. seven cities? <laughs> yeah, well, just the big Seven ones. states? I mean, the girls are going to have to come out. Oh, they will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With they torches will. and You've made a lot of girls come out. <sighs> yeah, well, yeah. You know what I mean? Out of the closet because they're not with men anymore. Oh, yeah. They yeah. definitely make them hate men. Yeah. Which is your goal. And themselves. Yeah. Well, which makes them hate men. Yeah. Because they hate me. Yeah. And they usually hate their dads before they hate me. Oh, yeah. That's the only. And the reason they're with the me is because they can... hate their dads. Yeah. And then they hate me. So then all men. Let that's them the only down. pot you can pick from. Yeah. Literally. Daddy it's the, issues. It's the only pot to pick from. I mean, it is the. Let's debate this. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. I mean, we all have daddy issues. Who doesn't? We're, look at uh, look at this show. Look at what we're looking at us. Yeah. Look at that mug. Look at the mug. <laughs> look at the name. Mug. Look at the hands. The mug at, on the back isn't even a mug. It's only half a mug. That's all we could afford when we started the show. We skimmed, the front half we skimmed out on a mug for you people because yeah. we love you. And no one buys the mugs We're anymore. Better than your dad's. Buy a mug. Yeah. And the mug's probably the best merch. It's a, it's a great mug. It's a great mug. Well, not this one. I don't it's even only half a mug. I don't even use my mug. I just have it sitting out so I can appreciate it, so I can look at it. Yeah. My mug has a gaping hole in it. I use my... Really? And I forget about it, and I pour coffee on my dick. Because I'm drinking, uh, you know, yeah. morning, you don't have clothes on. Right. Yeah, you got to be naked. You're taking in the morning. it in. You're taking Scientifically, it. it's the best way, healthiest way to start your day. Well, I drink my coffee on the toilet because it's, I got a shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I I mean coffee. The, well, I mean, the coffee's going to be I'm smoking a shit. Newport. Yeah. Coffee in Newport. Two Newports. <laughs> one yeah. in the nose, one in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. One in the rectum. The, the cherries meet at the same time and it is blissful. Yeah, that is the only thing that uh, keeps me from murdering. People. I had a man at work ask me the other day if I had ever been in a blissful state and it took every single ounce of my being to be like not without the assistance of alcohol and drugs. <laughs> who asks that? Uh, a very charismatic man who of course. I felt could have been my intellectual equal because he started talking about like your positivity and energy and how your mood affects things and how physically... <sighs> What, how mentally what you feel affects how you feel physically. And if you learn to listen to that and listen to your body, you can begin to correlate where like your anger and anxiety s- come speech from. I brought something up in my throat yeah, that I need to no. spell from my body. No, I love this guy. I want to talk to him more. I thought he was I don't great. Think should. That's the kind of things I love. That's what I love talking about. You were in a, it was in the bathroom. You were looking in the mirror. <laughs> glory hole. He was talking to me through a glory oh. hole. Oh, <laughs> and you put, he was like, put your mouth up. I can't quite hear you. And then dick in the mouth yeah. every time yeah, every you fall time. for it <laughs> every single every time. time i can't help it 10 times on a nine because i'm like okay so yeah pause <laughs> <and> go. <laughs> yeah and they are brutal about yeah, it yeah they are so mean for guys yeah. who are talking about positivity through glory holes well i've taken that shit on the other side of the hole and it says like your schedule when you'll be in there and oh, it, that's crazy and they it told says me they were gonna just, get rid of that it says just get him to tell him you can't hear him and he'll <laughs> there's a picture hope, of my stupid <laughs> face yeah and you always look shocked, and there's a little bit of comb dribbling out because you do finish it because you are a hard worker. You know, I do mean? have that in for a penny and for cum in your mouth. That's yeah. what I, what my granddad always told me. Well, you know, my inbox is always bigger than my outbox. <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard that. <laughs> I've read that. But apparently, I'm just shitting it out. Yeah. So yeah, that's why you're so against it because secretly, deep down, you know. Because you hate being reminded when you take that shit and you look in the toilet and there's cum and it's not from you doing a but shotgun. But if you digest cum, it's not cum coming out of your ass. I, we need I don't know what we need Science. I don't think we need we, a scientist on the show a, yeah let me call up the scientist who's coming to talk about coming oh he's coming <laughs> yeah he's gonna be a real uh I, I you, you're not gonna ask for his diploma we'll say that I much. need you know I think I, mean? I need to see some qualifications uh I mean he's just gonna come up does a diploma from the school of love come this comes in my mouth <laughs> <laughs> he just squats and shits out come is that good enough for you well <laughs> No, I, we needed to see you digest. You got to take it in. We don't know if you planted that cum. That's, that's planted, planted cum. cum. I know planted cum when I see it. It's like a movie. Crop. I've planted cum a million times. Planted cum is what killed Brandon Lee on the set of The Crow. <laughs> planted cum is also what killed Brandon Fraser. Debate it. Brandon Fraser? Yeah. He's dead? Replaced by a clone like Gucci Mane. Yeah, because have you seen the recent Brandon Fraser? Yeah, that's having what I'm saying. He's a lot of breakdowns yeah. in public. And he's real okay. fat and got the cowboy hat on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm saying replaced by a clone, but one of the wonky ones that didn't work out. <laughs> yeah. The good one got killed on the way to Hollywood, so they had to replace it with a wonky with one. With a second clone. Yeah. How many clones do you get when you're a celebrity? I think three. three. And they get yeah. progressively worse. Yeah. So if you first. Makes a lot of sense. When actually. Gucci Mane's clone goes, the next one's going to be wild. <laughs> 
I want to get have the like third, an arm in its stomach. I want to get the third one that goes back to throwing women out of moving vehicles. <laughs> and just looks fat and dead. Yeah. God. Turns out that was the third Gucci Mane clone. Yeah, they they yeah, sent they, him out of order. Yeah, they flipped it. That's why they gave him a real top-notch new one with that six-pack. To make up for it. Badass wife that won't let him eat burgers. Which is good. Yeah. I don't think he needs to be eating burgers. He gave her a million dollars when he went to jail, and she flipped it into six, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that's a real woman, woman right there. Yeah. yeah, that's the woman. That that woman will love you when you're gravy. That Yeah, I was just going to say. Takes a million that's... and turns it into six? Yeah. Like, six million dollars. I think I can get my gravy put in a some sort a of A gold body. container, at least. A gold oh, body. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have different ideas. <laughs> you just want a nice container. I want to kind of be I'm a I'm a simple man again. with simple taste. <laughs> yeah. I just need my uh, my golden house and my rocket car, and I'm set. Yeah. Honestly. And I just need my solid gold toilet, my $400 million <laughs> mansion, and I am set, baby. Solid gold toilet. Is that going to be worth it? I want it to be. <laughs> Is it going to be heated? Yeah. All right. I and mean, it's also going to sing me a song. What song? Is it Bluetooth capable? Yeah. And it's real bass. <laughs> real bass. It's like the speaker really that, you, you out. that you ruined. And so it just really shakes all the no, time. No, it's like the speaker that shook me at the prof show. Where I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So it really gets all the shit out of you. Oh, I did feel pretty clean after that. Um, I wanted. I had a question I wanted to ask. I don't know if it's a Patreon question or if it's a... Let's uh, let's go ahead and give them a... Let's give the people a freebie to let them know right, what kind so of... So this is what kind of shit we'll get into on the Patreon um have you ever had your ass eaten no <laughs> okay have you no cool. would you no no why no. um i am just not about it i guess like i don't really want anything done to my ass so it's just i just don't want anything really done to my ass okay i understand i'm with you i here. love blow jobs yeah we i love are, getting, you know, my, we I love getting get my nuts like done I don't like getting my nuts sucked on. I don't like it when they do it too hard. Yeah, that. Yeah, that, 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 that I don't like yeah. that. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of those things. That's if one you of, know, you know. If you know, if you've you know. Had it, if you've if ever you, been like, oh my God. God. What did you do to me, man? It just sends a shock up into your Adam's yeah, apple. Really ruins it. My what dick, did you do to me, man? my dick more <laughs> flaccid quicker than getting a ball, ball just sucked popped. into a mouth. Oh. Ladies, Just some that gentle is not suck. what anyone some, wants. No, yeah. it is not. We yeah. want the hardest suck on the rod, yeah. the gentlest <laughs> <Okay>. of suckle <laughs> on the nuts. Yeah. Just really some licking just, and some mouth. Just in. put them on your mouth and yeah. just run your tongue around. Yeah. Them. Don't just, just, just don't them. even suck just on them. them. Literally, there is only yeah. one time in my life where I was like, suck on my balls, and she didn't <laughs> fucking do that thing. <laughs> yeah. That thing's a goddamn like, epidemic. <laughs> what do we even? Sometimes, and they will do it, and the guy's just like, yeah. Yeah, baby and, and it's like, like they're your no, nuts have baby. to be numb as shit to not no, feel that baby yeah that's crazy your vast deference separating from your testicle yeah you fucking feel it <laughs> like a golf ball through a garden hose like, like, a velcro, like a velcro wallet getting pulled apart really fast oh, oh ladies never ever yeah. suck a nut like that just give it there just give it a, ne- a gentle supple just yeah just, like, yeah give it a little kiss Oh, what were we even talking I'm about? Before ass that? I'm not. I like. Okay, I like getting my dick sucked. I like getting my nuts <laughs> suckled. Gently suckled. Gently suckled is the and only then it term. Stops there. And then I. I don't even. I don't want my gooch touched. I don't okay. want my butthole touched. Mm. I don't want anything about that touched. Right. I especially just don't want a mouth down there. You know. Are you? Um. Do you have thoughts on your cleanliness of your asshole? Do you think? I don't think my I, asshole will ever be clean enough for someone. Same. Thank you. You know what like, I mean? And I, I don't think feel it's like, dirty. Even, even fresh out the shower, yeah. I still don't I feel like my asshole scrubbing is it clean for, enough. Yeah, 25 minutes I can just loof for that thing till it's yeah. raw, but I will still <laughs> I feel like you it's do. Not, I do. Because um, yeah. cause, cause, cause I'm like, oh, what if I get jumped and someone tries to eat my ass? <laughs> it, I don't want to be It has been happening. The yeah. teenage, you know the knockout game that was popular a couple yeah, years ago? Yeah, now it's the ass eat game. Don't get caught lacking, let me tell you that much. Don't get caught lacking. I was trying to make a deposit at my local branch and uh someone made you a deposit right. at my branch i'll tell you that <laughs> much i did not like it and they they put it on snapchat and it's been uploaded and onto Pornhub. but it's one of the three you the know the snapchat are... compilation where they show you three snapchats at the same time and the kids are everyone aggressive. has add the kids are very aggressive and they have more facial hair than me so, so much it tickled, more. A it tickled a lot because it's so soft and yeah. fine. i think the ideal woman would uh offer it because I think I like 
I would love the offer. I would you love the mean? consideration. Yeah, because that's, that's she would a down respect bitch. when I turn yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah. I'm always down. I'm down for a down bitch, but yeah. she also needs to respect my boundaries. Just oh like, yeah, I'll, don't. I'll, I'll respect your boundaries. Don't sneak up on me when I'm no. bending over, sorting through my records, and that's my ass. Yeah. Don't <laughs> bend over when I am about to get onto my prayer position and eat my ass. <laughs> yeah. Don't throw a pencil on the ground and make me pick it up so you can eat my ass. <laughs> don't throw half a pepperoni on the ground so I'll bend over to get it and then you'll eat my ass. <laughs> and you're eating the pepperoni. <laughs> off the ground so it's like so a horse much. eating a sugar cube out of <laughs> yeah. someone's hand like <laughs> like a horse eating a sugar cube out of my ass <laughs> and then my ass is getting eaten so like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're gonna balk yeah i also i i have had a woman touch my asshole while <laughs> giving me a blowjob and i was not a fan of it that's how i found out because i was like <laughs> you gotta know someday. yeah because someday because like, like yeah, yeah listen like, if you're listening to this at some point, someone will unexpectedly touch your asshole. I'm yeah. not kidding no, you. It happens someone to will everyone. Unexpectedly do. Well, I've done it to people. People have done it because, to me. Well, because, yeah, she I've just done went it to people while they're doing it to and me. I, like, and it was like that awful move where, like, you clench up, but yeah. then, the like, the dick went too far yeah. into So she was like, Ugh! And I yeah. was like, oh, well, that's the that sound I like to hear. <laughs> yeah, like, it sounds like Mario trying to plumb a <laughs> clogged toilet. Yeah, I was, cl- I was unclogging something. Oh, you know what I mean, baby? Luigi? <laughs> Yeah, oh. Waluigi. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when someone tries to touch my ass. I'm like, wow. <laughs> but no, I like clenched up and choked her a little bit on accident. Yeah, and well, uh, that's what you get. Well, yeah, and that's what I told her. She was like, "Oh, what was that?" And I was like, "What was that?" Was it just like on the porch, or did it go inside? It was on the porch, really trying to get in like a yeah. cop, yeah, like <laughs> battering like, ram, like a cop when you have the chain on the door and you're yeah. talking to him through the, yeah. and they're like, boom. They're yeah. just like they they're, the, they're the like elbowing it in mm-hmm. because they don't have the battering ram, but they can smell you cooking the crack in there, and they have a uh, uh, Yeah, that's essentially what it was like. <laughs> uh, and so I was like, "Hey, not a, not about that." It turns out, and they respected it, you mm-hmm. know, which I appreciate. But that's when I found out I'm not about it. So yeah. I, the way I figure, if I'm not about a finger on my ass because I, I was more it was less about like i just flat out was like freaked out about it yeah you know? like i just startling. didn't like it it was startling you go your whole life without someone touching your asshole and <laughs> yeah one day someone does and, it and you're like and so like i can't imagine a position where i could be I, I I can't imagine a literal position where my asshole is out and I don't feel vulnerable. Oh, yeah. You know, because oh, yeah. I'm either on all fours it. spreading it or okay. like standing right. up and spreading it. For me. Standing up and no, spreading it. Or I am leaning like leaning back, back and your... like a baby getting yeah. its diaper changed. Yeah. And if that's not degrading, I don't know what is. Yeah, I hate when you're watching porn and they're like there's usually like two girls and they're blowing the guy and then the one like lips up the balls and just goes for the ass. Which is, I'm, like, I'm not I'm about that. Here, right? Yeah, like a couple fingers to that. block the bottom of the screen. <laughs> but you can still see your tongue. So yeah, like, and you're like, oh, I know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm not interested in it. I'm not interested in the finger in my butt either. I don't mind a grabbing of the ass. You know what I mean? Like pull me in. I, uh, but it I, can get slippery because my ass is sweaty. I've, I I I like a good ass grab. I'm mm-hmm. glad you brought that up because like I feel like it's it's like a thing to grab a girl's ass, you know. But not enough oh, girls yeah. grab men's asses. No, you know. And it's like I I like when I'm in the you know throes of passion. Mm-hmm. I I love it when a girl just like grabs my ass and yeah. then when she smacks it too. I'm just kind of like okay. I don't know if I've ever gotten my ass smacked. Man, you Probably. know I didn't think I was about it until it happened, and then that was one of those things I was about. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, kinda, it kind of revs you up a little bit. Well, I'm sure. Yeah, it's like a horse. Makes you feel like a man. I I don't know about that. When a girl has her legs wrapped around you and she, like, smacks your ass and grabs it, makes you feel like a man. I'll, I'll do some research. I'll allow it. I'll look into this. Um, yeah. Make I just, sure you're wearing a lab coat when it happens, though, or it's not technically research. She has to smack the lab coat? I mean, she technically kind of has to, like throw the lab coat up and then like smack hold on i'm gonna feel ashamed because my ass has been exposed you know <laughs> so I mean? if you're it's naked so, it's fine yeah because they're not presenting it you know <laughs> they're what i mean they're not presenting it for anyone they're just unveiling, well i'm always in front of a live studio like, audience oh well yeah that makes things different yeah i just like the acoustics yeah i get it you know and i need a crowd to cheer me on I mean, I'm usually trying to get over my stage fright with my penis. I'm usually just testing out the beds in Ikea, to be honest with you, because I got to make sure they're durable. You know, yeah. I mean, I'm building it myself, so I want to make sure it's yeah. durable. Well, you're, it's not going to be once you build it. Because you're going to, there's going to be three weird screws that you can't get anywhere else. No. Nope. And 
you don't have them. I can't. Uh, and you're going to look at the directions? And... I can't go back to Ikea because the last time I was in an Ikea, I was with someone. I, and yeah, we I got into a horrific fight about blinds and had mm. to leave. Were you asked to leave? Uh, no, but people were looking <laughs> and some employees were looking too. And I was trying to make them not look. And of course, when that sort of thing is happening, everybody just wants to look. And so I felt so embarrassed that I have not been back to Ikea. <laughs> Yeah, because people always do remember you. I was going to um, just blurt out uh, what I believe happened in a car ride to Ikea for you. <laughs> and I, I'm not going to. Go ahead. But I, <laughs> no, I won't. Go ahead. Am I right, though? Am I right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Which? With a sweater? That was on a car ride back from Ikea. <laughs> okay. And it wasn't. I'm guessing it wasn't the same day. It was. <laughs> <laughs> crazy <laughs> that yeah. should have been a huge red flag <laughs> yeah it should have it <laughs> was every guy yeah. every guy that looks back on a bad relationship <laughs> yeah, yeah it should have been was. it was at the time it but was you know that what? woman was wearing a dress made out of red flags <laughs> but it's okay because <laughs> i'm here now baby <laughs> yeah we've all survived uh, oh shit. yeah same day <laughs> jesus same that same doesn't make day. any <laughs> well because there was some th- we didn't just go home immediately after ikea yeah, it's a long drive yeah it was a long drive in silence and you're playing passive aggressive songs yeah i was <laughs> like, everybody I knows know. i was <laughs> yeah i was in the back of the car that's how i know all of this oh yeah, yeah i got the sweater on me and i was not pleased <laughs> baby <laughs> Uh, we want to get into some submissions. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. We love all your submissions. We love all of them. We'll start with the best one, of course. It's from Vagina, and that is cooter at google.com. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Which if... I like at google.com. Do they work for Google? Is this their work email? I hope so. Cooter, <laughs> get at us. Yeah, please send what all your... What fun foods have you had in the break for room recently? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> send all your submissions from your work account please um because so we can email you back some horrific things <laughs> yeah uh and the submission is why do you guys hate eminem so much i don't like again everything's typed like shit you guys take a typing class is this the one you wanted my genuine reaction from yeah okay um i don't like him by any means but there are a couple of songs i don't mind that much mainly the detroit first everyone that had a bunch of detroit rappers i'm just confused to be honest um, why do we not like eminem uh, you know i can't really think of anything off the top you know of what my head, maybe i've been wrong my whole if life. i had to spitball um hmm. if i had to just kind of spitball my feelings about why i think we wouldn't like eminem maybe it's because uh he gets away with so much as a white rapper that things a, mm. if a black rapper did they mm. would be crucified for and mm. he's basically every white person's token out for saying i hate rap mm. music but i love mm. eminem mm-hmm. yeah. personally i know a, i know of a psychopath who claimed he didn't like music but he liked classical and eminem and there we've, is we've talked and about there's those. something about that that speaks volumes about yeah. eminem i think if you yeah. don't like music but Eminem speaks to you for some reason. And there's people who would argue that maybe that speaks to his broad appeal as an artist. Mm-hmm. But I say that it appeals to the fact that white people suddenly had this gigantic into rap culture. And suddenly, like, there was yeah. a white person rap. He's basically like a token white guy yeah. for rap in a way. He wore a fucking do-rag. He, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. white man. And I understand he's fast. He's technical. People think it's great. He has his Yeah, he is technically a good rapper. Well, he was technically a good Th- rapper. These days he is trash. Now he he's is just garbage. saying. He is a joke about himself. You know what? Watch that weird freestyle he did, like, last year. In the garage. Oh, in a garage and, and yeah. he literally is like I, I diarrhea on him i wouldn't want to be on him and it's just and he's like taking weird pauses too yeah and he just says shit that like literally if anyone else ever said like i've they, had people they would clown them come freestyle in my face outside of a bar drunk and it's better than yeah that. like 
yeah, I don't know. He has song of he has, he talks about raping his own mother. And well, and shit. that's the other thing. It's like everybody's like, oh, he's so good. It's like, have you actually like listened to some, yeah. what some of his words are, or are you just like riding with him because he's a white rapper? Even the last you know? time I listened to an Eminem song all the way through was when Compton by Dr. Dre came out. Yeah, so I was just listening to the album, and I'll still I I will take time to listen to things I hate just so I can still continue to prove my just point. Just so I'm I not know blind, that I'm not yeah wrong, I'm not blind you know? in arguments. That one, he literally talks about raping a person. You are like a 38-year-old man right. at this point. And it's like, and with a full-grown daughter who you're so defensive about thing. when another rapper talks about how your daughter's hot. Because she is. Come get us, M. Yeah, come, come get, get us, M. M. Yeah. Um, that you'll bla- try to blackball him from the industry. And MGK fucking sucks all the dicks as well. Right. So I'm so not like... defending him. But God, in that battle, I got to go with him. And I'm not talking about whatever stupid diss records they made at each other that I couldn't no, listen to. Like... I had to hear so many people when that happened. So many like fucking white girls like, he's just the best rapper ever. MGK shouldn't have done this. You can't comment on rap beefs when you don't pay attention to rap, rap at all at just cuz your yeah your token white guy comes in he's just a grown man who uses the bad f word who just is just offensive he's just right and, and it's because he had such this cultural following that people are like oh like i'm waiting for eminem to get canceled you know all these other yeah. fucking artists and everything are getting canceled we're not canceling the guy who like talks about like marilyn manson said he wasn't he said he wouldn't sing a hook on one of his songs because it was too misogynistic yeah marilyn manson yeah. The shock rocker yeah. said that Marshall Mathers was too misogynistic. Yeah, and he is. And obviously, there's a huge level of mis- misogyny in rap culture. But like Eminem, speci- like he is like straight you up. You can like, rap about. He talks about because like you can rap about like bitches yeah. and whores and all. We understand. But that. he talks about straight up just killing and yeah. murdering and raping women and as a culture for his entire career. career. And people are like, okay, killing with his it. baby mama. My fucking mother. Raised Baptist, bleeding heart of the world, missensitive to everything, likes Eminem because she likes the song of his that he did with Rihanna that was on the radio. Yeah. And it's like, you got to be out of your mind to think yeah. like, like, what is it about him culturally that people just accept all of that? I for? don't know. Like, and at the what end is it going to take day, 50 years before someone's like, oh, but we really shouldn't support Eminem, you know, yeah. and then start taking him off of streaming fucking services and shit. Cash like, cow. That's the whole reason why everybody backed him. It's not because people it's cause fuck he was with a cash him. Cow. It's because he made ungodly amounts of i have all never, of his albums are like diamond i have never been able to stand it. the sound of his voice it's no. not even hit, like if it was his flow on a different rapper i would listen to it and like there's other rappers that do his flow like i, yeah. I know you hate him but like joiner lucas he does eminem's flow a lot yeah and like royce the five nine he has that fast kind yeah. of flow Tech and nine, eminem's like, influence people like chance is a big eminem fan right I like chance and like I can, that's the one saving grace with Eminem is like he's influenced, he's influenced people, a lot of people that I love. Influenced Tyler the Creator and then call them the F word on a recent song, right? For it's no like... reason. It's just weird. You're just a weird old man complaining about everything. And literally, the songs I've heard in the past, like yeah, when I was a kid and he first came out, I loved it. I loved the fucking My Name Is because I was a child and it was I I edgy always, and I cool. hated it as a child. I could I never liked how his voice I liked sounds. It that because my parents wouldn't let me listen to it, so it was like one of those things. But then when I listened to the songs, I was like, this is all just weird and like this, this guy's crazy. Boring. And now he's just a bad rapper on top of everything. Yeah. Like I feel like at a time he was a good technical rapper and could have good songs and there was something you could see in him. Now from what I've actually heard him rap and these fucking freestyles and shit, he's just bad. He's so bad now. And like, I don't know. Detroit vs. Everyone is good probably because Danny Brown's on it. Yeah. And fucking other people. Yeah, I'm not gonna continue this. That's why we don't like Eminem. Yeah. I yeah, I can't ever fathom it, but to each their own. Uh, next one comes from uh, I don't know how to say the name. It's a new one, uh, Lemmy. Never heard oh, of him. Interesting. Thanks for uh, checking us out, Lemmy. I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy what you hear. The email is smalldick at sad dot com. Sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> and the title is this is gonna get sappy and cliche. So let's go on a cute little drive. It says, you know. After today's episode, it became very apparent that you guys need to take a break every once in a while. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't read this one because we just got it before we started. But God, if that isn't the truth. For both your guys' sakes, please take a break every few months, even if it's just sitting at home enjoying your Friday. 
when you double up on episodes, the quality difference isn't too noticeable, but the quality improvement when you get back is wild. You guys sounded refreshed and ready to grab the metaphorical balls of the brand with gusto. Hey, let me, if you want to send us on vacations, yeah, that's how you're going to get that know. good quality. If you uh, want to send us to Australia, just give us a heads up. Yeah, just uh, ship us in a container like we're made of gravy. Anyways, I just wanted to get genuine and sincere and say thank you for the show and your dedication to the show. Seriously, it has changed me for the better in a few different ways. I'm going to jump in and say we, no, we can't. No, we, no, we can't. We, we will never agree with anyone that says the show has changed them for better or no, for if worse. You, if you like ever came to us and said, like, we saved your life, we wouldn't believe yeah, you. We'd I, just, probably I, stop talking I don't to need you. that. Yeah, don't. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um. The biggest change is my taste in music. I found out that punk rock is one of my favorite genres. I've always liked rock, but the high energy and rawness of the music is something I've really fallen in love with. I checked out Against Me, Pew Pew Pew, and my favorite band, Sorority Noise, because of you guys. Then through recommended or similar artists, I found Remo Drive, Jeff Rosenstock, The Men Menzingers, Andrew Jackson Jihad, and a few others. Not to mention, I hated rap before I met Slim, though, or through before I met Slim through a shitty job, and I still remember asking him what would be a good place to start, and he told me to listen to "Humble Beast" by G Herbo. It was pretty all. It was pretty aight. <laughs> so you're already adapting the slang. Good to see. It was pretty aight, but then I started listening to more rap, and now I found some great ones: Kanye, Frank Ocean, Tyler the Creator, my favorite rapper, Belay. Brock Hampton, Little Peep, and more. Some, of course, from your guys' suggestions, but my point is I used to hate rap, and then after giving it an honest chance, I realized how fun it can get. So thanks for the show. I can't wait to see where it goes from here. Also, here's <laughs> three quick ones. Some of this is hard to read. <laughs> um, you're welcome, Leonard. Yeah, we, you're welcome, man. We did it. We changed your we changed your goddamn life. So now you listen to sorority noise and get super sad. Now you listen to Frank Ocean and get even sad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so three ones. First, any weird or unusual hobbies? For example, I like beekeeping. <laughs> which is... is he saying he likes beekeeping? <laughs> it sounds like it. Which you like I'm not, beekeeping? Like? I'm not making fun of you. I just instantly pictured you in a, in a beekeeper's, beekeeper's outfit. <laughs> and I love it. So I need to see some pics. Hey, guys. Um, this is a big thing of honey. For example, I like beekeeping, which isn't that weird nowadays. And I'm getting into ant keeping, which is still pretty weird these days. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, I feel like we've gotten this question before. I feel like we have. Because you collect I'm, soap. Yeah, I was going to say, the I, one co you I collect soap. Yeah, so we've definitely covered this before. I don't think I have any weird Odd hobbies. hobbies or anything, really. I don't think so. I collect toenails in a small uh, biker mice from Mars. Who does Like, water heater type yeah. container thing that went in, like, the little village that you could buy. But, I mean, outside of that, I don't I don't know. Who doesn't do that? Yeah, so we've talked about it. Clearly, you're not that big of a fan. Uh, second, will live calls ever come back, or is it a scrapped idea? I thought of this the other day. As did I. Um, yeah, I would love I, it if it would. Yeah, I think we, you know, sometimes we run into one small technical glitch. And it and, just makes us stop forever. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple things that we uh, need to get back on the horse of. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I, yeah, yeah, we'll, I'm, I'm going to say yeah, and I'm not, we're not going to get into it right now. This but is yeah, a, they this will, a private conversation. They, they will be back. Um, yeah, because I think we just need to figure out, yeah, it was weird and didn't work great the first time. Um, so we need to test it a little bit more, but yeah, they'll, they'll be back. We'll, we'll get on it. Um, you can't call when we do though. No. So, sorry. You are the only one who's banned. Uh, third, do you like the old school rappers? <laughs> For example, Biggie, Tupac, Easy e Coolio, etc., etc. If not, do you at least respect them as they did inspire so many artists, which then are the ones we listen to or inspired the ones we listen to? That ended weird. Um, um, I mean, like, I, I have respect for the craft. It's not necessarily my preferred era of rap. You know, I mean, like, obviously there's some 90s jams I'll fucking get down to. Oh, yeah. Because who won't, you know? But if I had to pick, like, the era of rap that I appreciate the most, it would be the current one. You know, the last probably five to ten yeah, years, maybe. Yeah, last decade. Yeah, I, um, I went through a big phase when I, like, got into rap. That's, like, where I started with was with, like, backpack rap, like, atmosphere, indie rap shit. 
and then I did old school shit. I was a big Wu Tang fan. Yeah. Like, very big Wu Tang fan. I'll still bang out some Wu Tang from time to time. That's probably the biggest. I did like NWA a lot, straight out of Compton. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have straight out of Compton on vinyl. I have the yeah. 40th edition one. Yeah, that's still yeah, it's still a solid album. It just doesn't old rap doesn't sound it sounds boring now you right know what i mean yeah We've just progress so far because like rap I, I read someone i think it was a jpeg mafia interview where he said like rap is can be whatever you want it to be these days you know it's not confined to just being like oh, you know yeah. boom bat beats and like drum machines and stuff like it's got so much influence from every genre yeah i mean for christ's sakes today that uh old country road remix with bill and did you listen to <laughs> yeah. it the the yeah. heat the oh unjustifiable God. heat yeah, on that song first. of the summer oh when he came in with that growly chorus the first oh, time i was I like know. this is i was like this is and already going on the playlist did you see that picture bro. of him too yeah with the long hair and the greg allman hat yeah. and looking like a fucking mystic with oh that weird God. jacket on i'm yeah. like yeah I'm that was about incredible this. Yeah, there's so much now. Even like the like heavy incorporation of 808s after. Yeah, I say primarily 808s and Heartbreak. Yes. Kanye being a visionary, but also Beastie Boys because that's the whole reason they became a rap group from a punk band is because someone showed them an 808 and they used it a lot, but it didn't really get. Now the 808s are like unbelievable. Everywhere. Yeah, and like so heavy. So yeah, like hearing just like yeah, putting a Valet song up against a Biggie song just it makes doesn't it sound compare. So dusty know? and boring. I also Biggie over Tupac. I fucking hate Tupac. Uh, yeah, he's crazy overrated. He dropped a gun one time and it shot a child in the head and killed him. So he's not. A, and he also uh, allegedly raped someone and wasn't even in a gang and wasn't even from uh, California. So yeah. so tu- Tupac's kind of a fake, guys. <laughs> yeah, Tupac's a big fake, and I never. I also think his. I never got his why his music boring. was ever entertaining at all. California Love makes me want to stab people. I mean, his. I vicinity. like his poetry. I'll say that I liked his poetry, but that I didn't think his music was anything to like really obsess over. Or be I liked crazy him in about. Juice, the movie Juice. Yeah, everything was good about Juice, baby. Yeah. yeah um but yeah it's yeah it's kind of like slim said if i hear some songs i definitely can get into it or i'll go on a weird binge where i listen to old shit um but yeah not coolio i don't know yeah coolio what my the dad fuck? smoked weed with coolio uh, yeah. coolio came into my target when i worked there <laughs> was my dad smoking weed with <laughs> i wish <laughs> yeah i don't yeah otherwise there's like i'd say yeah wu-tang is probably the biggest one for me and honestly there's not a lot i'm probably not even well versed enough for people to let me listen to rap um speaking of rap do we want to get into the double xl freshman list? yes i do i figured we were saving this for last because it is so specific it's very specific and if you don't like it then you can turn this off um yeah we did this last year uh just in case you're not familiar and yeah if you don't listen to rap maybe take a page out of leonard's weird slick book covered in juices and check out some rap that we've recommended there's yeah. something for everyone i feel nowadays so uh, don't and be close-minded honestly i didn't used to be as big into rap as i am now i used to like yeah. enjoy it a little bit you know but since we have been you know friends more and doing this a bit more but but for a little bit before that too yeah. i would say since you started prevalently coming into my life again yeah. and exposing you to great music yeah pretty yeah. much i do it to everybody but yeah don't yeah just like i listen to all the bands he listed as well for the most part you gotta keep a diverse taste there's a lot of things out there now but uh yeah we did this last year every year the hip-hop publication double xl that is complete trash in general garbage um does a freshman list where they pick 10 uh up and coming rappers that they think are going to be big and now they've fallen on fallen ungodly behind because the internet moves so fast uh what we're gonna do is predict what we think they will pick for their list and then provide our own personal lists of who we think 10 freshmen are which we did last year yep um you can go to their website and see all the options we're basing the the list that they're gonna choose off of what they've provided so there's people that i'd never heard of there's a lot of people i never heard of. there wasn't that many this is the first year where i felt old and i know everyone yeah. always says that not so much because there's only like maybe 10 15 people that i've just legitimately never heard of because i hear names or read names and i'll mm-hmm. know of like one song right yeah. but there's like yeah there's always some people there's some people where even when you look at their spotify their songs have like a couple thousand listens you're like right, how the fuck are yeah. you even on the list mm-hmm. you're just a person right now yeah um 
but yeah, it's just, I had a very hard time picking the list this year because there's so many people that I feel like are very aligned. Like there's like right, four people yeah. that I'm like have to be on this, like must be on this. And, and then there's so many people that I feel like are so even that I can't right, even like yeah. choose. The, uh, there is some similarities between like who I wanted and who I think is going to be on yeah. there just based off of like personal preference and like some of the people I enjoy are like blowing up and yeah. getting bigger. And a couple of the names I picked are ones who are bigger, you know? Yeah. So what what are we are we doing our prediction first or our wants first? We'll do prediction first. Okay. Um. So the first person I have down is Blue Face Baby. I if I have one on my agree list, I will just agree with you. I also have a uh, Blue Face on my list. Yeah, that's just got like if there if Blue that, Face isn't on it, that's it's just ridiculous. Like Thotiana is so huge that like yeah, I can't and just even him imagine. as like. Because that's the other thing. It's very confusing. The list used to be you couldn't be signed to a major label and you couldn't have released uh, your debut album. That was mm-hmm. the the grounds for being a freshman. And I guess that's all out the window because everybody signed. And I think when albums became mixtapes and everything is just muddied now. Yeah. So I don't know what the qualifier is, but they also base it off of like popularity in general. Because right, there's so much yeah. nowadays with rappers, there's so much like you got to be viral and you got to have your Instagram pop right, in. So yeah. that's all things to consider as well. But like, yeah, Blueface is just everywhere now. Mm-hmm. And he came out of nowhere. And there's so much like controversy with him, too, I feel like drives people to be on the list. What's one you got? Uh, I, I feel s- like we're going to have a couple duplicates, I'd imagine. Uh, this is an expectation for me. I said I, I expect the baby to be on there. Yeah, I also put down the baby. I could see them definitely not doing it. But in the past, like two months, I've followed them on Instagram. And, and he has just he's gotten so skyrocketing. Big. Yeah, yeah he's got like a beautiful come up. Because all of his shows are insanely sold out. So right. many women. Yeah. And he's a beautiful man. He is a beautiful man with that big, beautiful grill in. Yeah. yeah. That permanent grill. Um, yeah, he's very, very catchy. His videos are absolutely amazing. They're just, that babysitter they're, video. Oh, my God. I was like, this is – he's he, he knows how to play – the whole game you right, know what i mean yeah. he's he'll wear a like diaper he, he's a whole genius fucking yeah. all of his videos he doesn't take clever. himself too seriously exactly and that's and what he's makes killed him a man yeah in a walmart and gotten away with yeah that. he just got it's completely it's completely charges gone. are yeah. dropped so yeah they, he should be on it i could see them not doing it because they're always so fucking behind but mm-hmm. like please god let him be on it um another one i have is gonna I also have Gunna. Like, that's stupid if Gunna's not on Yeah, it. because Gunna is, like, I think, in my opinion, vastly overrated. Uh, oh, yeah. I think Un- ungodly overrated. There is nothing unique about Gunna to no. me. I don't think there's anything about him that makes him stand out from the crowd. You know? there's No. But it's like, I get, like, and there's, like, a, like the only song with Gunna on it that I can think, I honestly say, I know is Drip Too Hard. Like, I, yeah. can't, I couldn't name I know the ones with Lil or Baby or anything. And, yeah, because he's got other ones with him. And... Yeah, I the reason he's on here is because I can I Cause see how big popular. he is. Yeah. I could see him turning it down is my guess because he's so big. Because mm-hmm. also like little baby should have been on last year. Yeah, and now he's not even because he's so out of there that he's not even up for it. Right. Um, what do you got? Uh, let's see. I also said, uh, Juice World. Yes, I, I think also Juice, said Juice, Juice World, World should have been on it last year. Yeah, this is so he, delayed for Juice World. But like, he's definitely going to be on. Yeah, there. that's you know, the like, one no question. He yeah, that's huge. the one that I like can't fathom them not unless yeah. he turns it down. But he seems like the person who wouldn't. Right. But yeah, that's yeah, it's too late. Like he's already like so far past it. But um, I put YBN Corday. I also put YBN nice. Corday. We're more we're more aligned than last year. Last year you told me Trippy Red wouldn't be on it because he wasn't popular at all, which was an insane. Statement. I just had never heard of Trippy Red at the time. Like I just well, wasn't I'm glad aware you're of more, him at all. You're more. Well, cultured. I guess these are all pretty like pretty solid picks. But yeah, y, YBN Corday I see as like the like token lyrical rapper. Right. There's always yeah. like a lyrical rapper. There's always a female, and then there's the rest. I am interested to see if, if we could pop in and see him at Soundset if it works yeah, out. Yeah, I'm not, like, wise. crazy about him. I do like his, like he's a good rapper. Yeah. I don't think he's always the most interesting. But, yeah, he's definitely, like, a, a qualified rapper. And I would, yeah, definitely check him out. I don't feel really one way or another about him, but I think he could be on the list. Uh, I said uh, I don't know how solid I feel about this, but I feel just popularity-wise, Sheck West. See, I feel like... But I feel like with the allegations, yes. they probably won't put him on there. I feel like with know? the allegations, which, yes, Sheck West allegedly beat a woman, so... 
What and then um, he hasn't really done anything since he put that album out. You know, there's like yeah, that's no the singles, other thing. And that song no, has finally, I think, like died. Like, yeah, Mobile you know is kind of done. You know, like but, I could, I could go without. That's what he should have been on last year because that yeah. song's been out forever. And yeah, he's someone who should have been on last year. And I, I didn't put him on because of all of this. Mm-hmm. But I, I could definitely see it going one way or another. But I didn't say so mainly because of the allegation, and it seems like he's kind of right, stagnant yeah. with his career. I feel like he might just be done forever now. Hopefully. Um, I put Boogie, which I don't feel great about, mm-hmm. but I feel like that's another. I it was between Boogie or Reason because Reason is on TDE, and mm, every yeah. TDE rapper has been on the freshman list except mm-hmm. SZA, and she turned it down. So I feel like they just always put one on there. But I feel like one of those, I feel like Boogie and Reason are fairly similar. Yeah, and Boogie's really popping, like a West Coast artist. Mm-hmm. I could see it. I'm not crazy about him, but that's just another one of those picks. I feel like there's always like a random one where you're like, yeah, okay. Um, for, for the, cause I know realistically they only do like tend to do one female rapper, yes. you know? So for the token female, I said, they're probably going to do bad baby cause mm. she was up for it. You know, She was up for it last year. And what I, what she said is because she's 15 and the list for some reason is sponsored by Magnum condoms. They would not have her on it. Hmm. So but I she don't, was on it this year. Yeah. She's, I think they put people up for it just to keep like save face yeah honestly but yeah that honestly out of any woman that would have been my guess too mm-hmm. but i had heard that so i didn't choose her see yeah i'm but for popularity yeah like, for popularity and to be insanely. honest with you i kind of like her music yeah, her like, songs I don't aren't as it. bad as they should be. no the one uh that bestie song that just came out with kodak yeah. black i like that one What's i like the, the flip flops one. Oh yeah gucci flip flops yeah, with one's... uh Lil Yachty. Yeah. And then the one with Tory Lanez. Uh, that one has a really good flow on it. That one, That's the one. I that don't know sh- if I've heard that one. I'll have but... to play that one for you. That's the one that shocked me when I I was like, this is her? Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. They, whoever's workshopping her is doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I think, yeah, definitely popularity wise, she should be on it. But yeah, if there's some weird shit because she's a mm-hmm. kid and the list is sponsored by Magnum Condoms yeah. for some reason every year. Uh, my token, token, my <laughs> yoki new woman I chose Rico Nasty. Yeah. Um, I, I do obviously like Rico Nasty. I like Rico. I think it's between her or Megan the Stallion, which I've never really listened to, but I constantly see on Twitter and shit. See, I would really like it to be Danny Lay, but I because I think she's at, she actually has talent. She's yeah. really good. She has she has um she the one that did the ice cream paint job like remix. Was it her? Let me look that up. I really don't know. Quick. I can't remember. There's two girls on there, and the one did like that. She had like that crazy rap, and she's like wearing the shorts and sitting on the like ice cream truck, and it's like ice cream paint job by Duro or whatever his name was. I don't know if it's her; it could be someone else. Uh, um, but yeah, I went with Rico Nasty just because. Yeah, I feel like she is popping, and ideally would be something different. I think it would be Bad Baby if it's okay for her to be on the list but i said rico nasty no she didn't do the she did uh can't relate with ybn namir and yg and then uh she has a song called little baby that little baby was on mm. on the remix those are like the popular ones but no i i like her i liked her album the plan that came out last year i thought that was mm. really good um for i put down matt ox because i feel like matt ox is probably gonna be on there i feel like he's not gonna be on there he should be he should be yeah um, i feel like he's he's got enough of a following especially with like young people and stuff like that that he'll be a i was like on there. heavily researching the numbers <clears throat> and he is like not very high up for like, really anything really i found like a chart of like mm-hmm. streams and followers on instagram i think he i think he could be more for another token reason mm-hmm. rather than that he's also a child though yeah so, so we'll see have i don't to see what happens yeah um i picked little mosey because yeah he is i i like the one song that i've heard a lot by him i don't mm-hmm. pay enough attention but for some reason he has like astonishing numbers that really? i guess i'm just too old to realize yeah. because like he seems like one of those cute little like kind of like ybn namir last mm-hmm. year was on the list based off of like one really popular song yeah. and like two other decent songs and he hasn't done a single thing since i no. don't think so i could see in the same vein of like i don't really pay attention to him but he yeah he might like, have a bigger following yeah than what we but expect. i think he has like that little girl following like a teenage girl yeah. following because he's cute he makes a little love song and they go crazy uh i said kid boo 
because he's got like a really big SoundCloud following. Yeah. Like that's his whole thing is like SoundCloud. Yeah. But then like there's also those weird allegations against the guy. Yeah. Doesn't he also think he's a clone? Yeah. He thinks yeah. he's a second generation clone. Yeah. So I feel like maybe for like the weird factor, <laughs> yeah. he might be on there, you know, because like the dude's also like in his 30s. Like he's a little bit older than we yeah, are. He's not. A kid. And he's got like the face tats and like yeah. everything else and like really playing into the whole like clout culture and everything. So like I don't know what's up with that. Yeah. But I feel like it's same thing like i don't necessarily understand it i've like listened to some of it yeah. and i'm like i don't hate it yeah but like it's just it's that very ge- it's generic, generic sound a lot of rap, shit you know is but he's got a big following because he kind of yeah. does that like you know how like U- uzi used to do like that kind of cutesy anime thing where he yeah had, like those cartoons of himself as like a lot of the artwork for everything mm-hmm. that's what this guy does too so like a lot of his artwork is like anime based artwork of him doing things so like he's got that kind of Weird like anime weird rap yeah, yeah. You, you like it's hard to explain i know exactly, you know exactly what, you what i'm yeah, saying i know very much um i said little got it because and this was like i couldn't pick between little got it little keed or um roddy rich i feel like mm-hmm. that's like a three-way tie for me i feel like one of those people have to be on it right yeah and like little got it and little keed are always together because that's what i'm hearing now is like that's the new atlanta is those like those two are so popping really? in atlanta and I, I've listened to both of them. But the thing I realized more and more is everyone's just a Young Thug clone because mm-hmm. Gunna, like, without Young Thug would not exist. No. Lil Gotted and Lil Keed especially sound just like Old Thug, but, like, not with enough creativity to be right, Young Thug. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I said Lil Gotted based out of the three of them with really no no preference either way but i i just know one of them has to be on it i wonder if little god and little keed will be on it together because they're like buddy rappers that are always together and that seems to happen sometimes but i went with him out of the three um it's a it's a long shot in the dark but i said valet because i want it personally so bad that maybe if i wish it into existence i voted for him several times so many times yeah Yeah, you vote every four four hours hours. (laughs) that's what i did set a timer for four hours and then i just refreshed the web browser and vote for valet yeah i was on vacation i was still voting for valet yeah i i didn't put him on my prediction because i think they're just gonna fucking fuck it up and like he's also kind of fucked it up by not keeping enough music flowing and right shit. yeah so i can't blame them i think he should have been on last year's i think out of anyone personally i think he should be on it the most but mm-hmm. i don't believe in double xl uh i chose comethazine at was my last pick which i don't feel super confident in but yeah. he also has insane numbers yeah and like a crazy he's, he's, sound and he's got form. a pretty consistent work out yeah too. he has like consistently put out songs he just had one with asap rocky on the walk remix mm-hmm. So, and, like, yeah, he's, I see him, like, comments on YouTube all the time shit about Comethazine. I always see people either complaining that he sounds like Tay-K and Playboy Cardi had a baby, which is, once you hear it, you'll never hear it the same again. Um, And I honestly didn't think he'd get picked, but then when I was looking at numbers and shit, he's, like, way bigger than I thought. Because I liked Mm -hmm. him a lot last year when he came out. Yeah, same. Yeah, because you got me into it. Yeah, like, I like him a lot. Um, I don't person i personally wouldn't put him on a list and i don't know if they will but that was like my last pick that i kind of threw out there yeah i guess so now we're on to the want list yeah you want to kick it off i'll kick it off with valet yeah because valet is number, number one, one maybe list. it could just be valet 10 times honestly, yeah i would be just my 10 list. different angles of valet on yeah. the cover and i would be okay with I'm, it. i think that's what it should be because he's just influencing every rapper um yeah, I also said Valet. I said the baby, of course. I also said the um, baby because yeah, as we he's said, he's got to be in the diaper on the cover. Yeah, he's just yeah, he's my favorite new rapper. Yeah, I found him in January, and I think he's gonna have an insane year. What else? Uh, I said Tierra Whack. I also said Tierra Whack because we both know how much we love Tierra Whack. Yeah, and she is surprisingly eligible for it. Did you see yeah. her pitch video? I did. Yeah, yeah. And she just eats a bag of chips. Uh huh. Um, yeah, because everyone can do pitch videos if they show up. That's another thing I look at is like who actually showed up to XXL because they mm-hmm. have all the weird things that people have to come and play them new music. Yeah, that's why like this just isn't fair it's because not like the, not, not everybody's gonna show to be, up and you know? play you music. It should be the ten rappers that are gonna blow up regardless that's of it. if they come and play your fucking games for the old white woman that runs Double XL. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fucking Tierra Whack. That's yeah for for out of all the women my favorite mm-hmm. and definitely should be on it i said big baby scumbag 
because I fucking the last couple songs he's dropped, I they're fire. Listening to yeah, and he has like yeah, he's been very consistent. I, like every month, he's dropped a song. I also said Big Baby Scumbag. Oh, nice. Because I fucking love Big Baby. Scumbag. Yeah, I've been stuck on the Stone Cold and uh, Black yeah, Joe Dirt. Stone Cold Those is two so are good. Insane. Yeah, he's super underrated. Dale, er- Dale Earnhardt's a classic. Though. Dale Earnhardt's great. There's so many good Still ones. Still eating ramen noodles, bitch. I like <laughs> the taste uh yeah super underrated no one ever talks about him and he should get some fucking recognition he should, yeah uh i said uh comethazine because i do because i remember the first song you showed me by him was uh death, death wish. wish yeah just that string section the way he with that just that beat sounded so cool to me that i was like this yeah. is a rapper i want to listen to if he's gonna rap over beats like this you yeah know? and every time you've dropped something i'm more impressed with it yeah he doesn't do too much lyrically no my <laughs> but death, it's uh, yeah my pockets hippopotamus <laughs> Yeah, or just, I got a death wish, a death, death wish. wish, bitch, I got, I got a death wish, wish. homeboy, you, you gonna, gonna die if you fucking, fucking touch my necklace. <laughs> yeah, but it is, it is catchy. Um, I said Blueface, I'd like to see Blueface on it. I mm-hmm. think out of any of the people we put on Prediction, I think he deserves it the most because, yeah, yeah he's fucking <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, I said Juice World because i actually i have a weird relationship with juice world where like if i he broke your heart n- <laughs> and then he rapped about it for yeah. 17 long to, songs to the point where he hates playing the song live. Yeah. uh no and and sting gets 90 percent of that song that he wrote yeah. about you right 90 that was 90 percent and then was a dickhole and was like thanks for putting my grandkids through college yeah well yeah um, of course sting's a fucking asshole um, he was in a band called the police true, you can't trust yeah. that fuck 12 fuck sting fuck sting and 12 and any cops you know the listener um <laughs> everyone's like my dad's a cop you gotta fuck him too oh <laughs> yeah we will fuck your dad yeah we'll fuck your that's cop, what this dad. brand's based in um i said uh young wait didn't you just say one what what did you just said juice world oh yeah yeah, sorry um sorry i I heard a young who could it be i thought about there's only a couple young i thought about killing cops and my brain went places (laughs) oh i know but like i if i sit down and listen to a juice world album i'm not a fan of it but if like i'm out somewhere catch a song if i catch a song i love it i just because i listened to his new album and nothing really stood out to me but i was hanging out with some people and i heard his new song fast Mm -hmm. and like i love it like i I listen to it now i'm like how did i miss this the first time around you know yeah it's it's because it blends in the album right the album is far too long because there's like what's the other one on there robbery or yeah, something that's very Robert good as well bad. when isolated yeah he shouldn't so many rappers nowadays should be like single artists like big baby scumbag yeah. just drop songs because your projects suck horribly right yeah um i said z money because z money does yeah. not get nearly enough credit if, at all if if only for 216s but that last the Shirek Mogul was that what it was called? Yeah, that was a good album. Uh, that's a good project, and he's been around for fucking ever. Because yeah. I loved uh, "Bitches Want My Money," I think is what it's called, which mm-hmm. came out before Acid Rap because it was using the Acid Rap promo video. That's how yeah. I found it. So he's fucking been around forever. He just got signed to Gucci. Like I think he's gonna finally get the recognition he deserves, and yeah, he should be on there. Good. I said a uh, young nudie, mm. just because I he's one of those guys where it's like I really enjoy his just approach with everything you know like it can he sounds kind of generic sometimes yeah. but has like nice enough wordplay and like mm-hmm. a good enough flow to like keep me attentive with what he's doing you yeah. know because like that's the thing with that's the biggest problem with rap these days is that so much of it is generic that sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of a twist on the generic formula to make it stand out and be kind of interesting yeah. you know it doesn't have to deviate from it too much but as long as it stands out as something recognizable and mm-hmm. everything i've heard from him i enjoy because i was like going through rappers on the list just yeah. like listen to a couple songs and i realized i was like you know i actually like more of his shit than i thought that i did you yeah. know just going through like playlists and songs that i didn't know i knew and yeah. stuff like that i was like i actually really like this i've guy. seen a video of him performing in la and it was the crowd was fucking crazy that's like, what i'm people saying people have yeah. like more isolated fan bases that's the shit you have to take in account yeah what i've realized listening to the people i didn't know I've, so much rap right now is very melodic and softer and i you know like what I that mean? though i i like it but i think it's getting oversaturated i think that's why the baby is so great because he actually has genuine bangers again you right, know what i mean yeah. i feel like we're not hearing songs like that as much anymore it's all just very melodic which yeah i enjoy but i think it's getting overdone and right. i think a lot of up-and-coming rappers are just doing that because that's what's happening you know what right, i mean not enough yeah. people are breaking the mold um I said Smino, 
oh, which I think God, is f- yeah. he's far past a freshman. Mm-hmm. But if we're gonna put him, give the man his fucking do him and another person I have on here, I think are far past freshmen because he's got two albums. He's definitely established. He doesn't need to be on the list if he was up for actually being on the double XL version. But like, yeah, he's just fucking incredible. Yeah. Like that last album is insane. That was one of my favorite albums from last Oh my year. God. And that's for me, the Samino album is like your veteran because like you've told me that veteran would be on your list like now because you've listened yeah. a little more. Like I've listened to that Samino project so fucking yeah. much and it's so good. It's, like, yeah. I, and he's doing shit that like no one else is doing. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. Because he can sing like like he shouldn't be able to sing that well like well, and, and he's Angel. got so many voices and then, yeah too, voices you know? and flows he's got like very fast shit and then he's got like very some of the shit on it is so sexy well i mean even just like, look at lmf like i know we've played that song so oh, much yeah. but like just the flows the voices the beat everything yeah. about that is so unique and just yeah, different that, and you that's know? what that's an album that you can listen all the way through because there's so many different right it doesn't just to blend it. together yeah. you can actually pick out the different he's songs. actually a good artist right uh, I said Danny Lay from uh, we were talking about her a little bit earlier mm-hmm. just because I think that she actually is a good female rapper not in maybe not in like the technical sense but she does have bars she does have good melodic flows to what she's doing and I think for like given a lot of the choices of female rappers that are out there these days she does stand out from the rest but I don't think she's getting the recognition she really yeah. deserves for you know I mean she got Lil Baby on that remix which obviously you know got her recognized a little bit just because he's so hot right now but you know I think if people like because like I've listened to the project and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did because yeah like, I, I like female I'm not like you or like I don't care too much for female rappers I'll listen to female mm-hmm. rappers but it's got to be like a certain kind like the, yeah like it can't that's be kinda like how that, I feel too it can't be like that Nicki Minaj yeah bullshit, see that's what I think like, the problem is is yeah. over sexualized women female rappers that feel like they have too much to prove well it's like for bring... the same reason I don't like Amy Schumer like I don't like Amy Schumer for the same reason I don't like hearing Nicki Minaj rap about her pussy for the million yeah, fucking exactly. time it's that's like, why I feel like Tierra Whack is so refreshing and incredible because she she's does just and... a very creative artist right, regardless yeah. of gender like doing shit that no one else does. I've honestly I think I watch Whack World maybe once a week on, yeah on tv just because like it's just a 15 minute yeah, thing so why, why not minute, just throw just it on and enjoy life changing experience where yeah. yeah that's another thing where you get so many different things mm-hmm. and the concept of one minute songs that feel like full fleshed out songs without having mm-hmm. a three minute song and the shit she's been dropping weekly or monthly now it's all been good fantastic too. i hope we get to see some of those the new ones yeah live. i would imagine so because she needs more than a 15 minute set i was say you think she's just gonna play the whole album and then like mm. just do a couple others i'd imagine yeah she probably does like uh what the hell was the other song? The Mumbo Jumbo Mumbo song or Jumbo. whatever. Yeah, she probably does like that shit. And then I'd World, assume Mumbo, she does Jumbo, I'd assume like, she just does Whack World in like its entirety. It, yeah, it just from, goes yeah, through the whole thing. Because that would make sense. But either way I'm very pumped to see her. Uh, I also said Saba, of course, which is the other person who's like way past it, but like ne- doesn't get enough recognition. That was my album of the year last year and the shit he's been doing, the shit with Pivot Gang is incredible. Mm-hmm. And, like, yeah, just because he never got it. He was up for it before uh, Care For Me came out. And I feel like you should have got it then. Yeah. And, like, definitely just a fucking great artist all around. Uh, I said Don Tolliver. Uh, he was, if if you've never heard of that name before, he was on Can't Say on mm-hmm. Astro World by Travis Scott. He had that really nice second verse <laughs> yeah. on there. And uh, when I heard that verse, I wanted to look more into him. And I found out the day that Astroworld dropped, he announced that he had signed Don Tolliver to Cactus yeah. Jack Records. Um, and he put out something recently that was very good. And everything I've heard from the guy, I just really enjoy. And he's one of those ones where it's like, I feel like he's not going to blow up enough. Yeah. You know, because like he actually has a very good voice and yeah. he can actually rap. And it's like one of those guys where it's he's very good to me for like just specific aesthetic reasons that i like in my music but it's one of those things where i feel like he's not going to blow up enough as he should you know like mm-hmm. i feel like he like he might not get the label support he needs or like his, like his name might not just get out there enough but i really think he's a talented artist who really deserves if like really if you're listening to this and you're gonna listen to anybody that i've talked about really go listen to him and see what you think about him just because i think he's a really unique creative voice that you should listen to yeah it was funny i yeah had obviously heard the song and when i was looking at the numbers 
he has huge numbers just because of that Travis Scott song, and then his other numbers are like unbelievably really low. low. They're so and they, people low. were pointing out like the contrast and saying that he wouldn't get it just because of that, which I don't think he'll get it. Yeah, no, because I don't think he will. No one knows who he is. He's like really. that underdog that I want to win, you know, because like he deserves to get his name out there a little more. I said Maddox because I fucking want it. I know. It's just fucking adorable, incredible. He doesn't even swear, and it goes hard. Like, yeah, he, he goes, goes hard. hard. It's fucking awesome with Valet. And, like, that album was, like, hard as shit. It's got a song with Chief Keef. Yeah. And he's fucking, like, how old is he? Maddox, 15? 16? Yeah, something like that. He's a child, and he's fucking... I just want to see it on the cover, because it would just be comical to me. Yeah. And, like, I, like, he's, like, half joke, but, like, still has the shit to back it up. Kind of mm-hmm. how I feel with Blueface. Like, there's... A, it's all very comical and ridiculous. But he can back it up. But it's still good at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, or you want to hate it because it's a small white kid or a guy who raps very offbeat. Like, it's still good to me, and I just want a little Mad Ox out there. Yeah. Uh, the last pick I had was uh, Band Hunter Izzy. Um, he's somebody who dropped an incredible album. Like, it is so beyond words to me that this guy hasn't blown up at all. Just because he uh, he's one of those... Um, he like leans really heavily into the crip stuff like the blue and everything you yeah. know like he leans re- like his album is called code blue and everything <laughs> you know um but like technically he's a very very good rapper and what made me cuz he was a guy where like i just had one of his songs that i liked uh sauce walk mm-hmm. and i played it for ham one day and he like whenever he hears a song he likes he just gets really excited about it you know just like he does with I've everything yeah. and he's like oh man oh man play that oh that's some real shit right there. and like he was going on about how like because he i was like playing it for him and he's like play that again play that again and he's like this man has sold cocaine i'm telling you he's like you don't rap like that you don't say things like that outside of the crack like and he's like going on this whole thing about it and so i'm like okay if he gets this much of a reaction out of him i should probably just listen to the album and see what yeah. it's about and like there's a lot of bangers and very good hard flexes on there that i really enjoy what was the there's one on how do, what does it go whipping Whipping on the pots, they is not slaves. Got rays on my, got frames on my face, they is not rays. I got girls kissing girls, and they is not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I feel like I've heard that song. Sauce walk. You can see the sauce when I'm walking. <laughs> um, my last pick, I actually changed this morning. I originally went with NLE Chapa because it's got that fucking Shot of Flow song mm. and the second one, and that song goes hard. Yeah, the and second one almost goes harder than the first. Yeah, it's like he had something to prove. And the video's like my favorite. Like, yeah, the video authentic, was crazy. Like, it reminded me of when I first saw Hard in the Paint by Waka. Yeah. Because the cops show up, and it's real, like, gang shit in this fucking shitty neighborhood. And that song's blown up. And so, yeah, I, I said him, but I scrapped him for little Nas X. After hearing the, the old Billy Ray Cyrus, Cyrus remix of remix Old Country today. Road, because ah, you make me regret not doing it now. Yeah, because I had him on there originally, and then I was like, no, I feel like he's not gonna have like stain power. He's just got Don't the song. Take my horse. and Emily Chopper will be better. But then, yeah, the remix, and I feel like if he can, like that song already is like through the roof. Yeah, uh, the remix that just came out this morning, and I feel like if he can keep that same type of shit, like that's how I feel the freshman list should be. You might not always bet on the right horse because, mm. like, it might just be, yeah, the one big song. How many rappers have we seen? But, like, it should be, like, the most up and coming. Even, right, like, our yeah. lists aren't really that up and coming. Like, I've got people on here that I just want to see. But, like, yeah, that feels like someone that's hitting right now. You right, know what I mean? Yeah. And if he can channel a third of that popularity on a following song, then I think he will be able to keep it yeah. going. But yeah, that's just, I, I love the country rap. Mm. I hate that. Like now he got the shine for it because obviously young thug had it forever. Mm. Tracy should have had it with the Tracy fucking like, should have had like it. a farmer. Like that's insane. He couldn't clear like the sample. Farmer. Couldn't get the Uzi cleared. Cause they're fucking Uzi over. That should have been what is happening with. Yeah this shit right now because he had it and i think that's a better country rap song yeah but this shit is popping and it is fucking good so and good. i'm so here for all that and he has like the the whole billboard thing where they're fucking him over by not letting him be on the country list which is fucked 
is the right i feel like if you nowadays as a rapper you want like a weird controversy right off top right, you know what i yeah. mean get caught with a gun have billboard not fuck with you whatever end of the spectrum there has to be something more than the song which is stupid the music should speak for itself but this is how it plays out you got to have you know what i mean there's got to be something to the point where i'm like clearly i don't know if they fucking did the billboard shit like if it's all a setup i always wonder with that but right, they definitely yeah. if nothing else went okay then we're gonna put billy ray cyrus and make them recognize it you know what i mean right, they found yeah. like a perfect way to fucking catapult the song into oh you don't want space. oh it's not country enough yeah. here's billy we're ray cyrus billy ray cyrus like a genius marketing whoever the yeah fuck whoever did, did that, that better get their dick, dick sucked, sucked every day by for off a year. right now yeah, get come here. here i don't know what label they signed you but get that dick over here um so yeah those are our list do we want should we bet something on last year we made a bet on we said if one of us gets the xxl list correct 100 percent, which i don't think we're ever gonna no. do um should, i feel like we should bet something whoever has gets it most right gets the most people uh get whoever gets the most people owes the other case in natter days that's exactly what i was thinking buddy i'm looking forward to my case of natter days i've been at my house sweating I've <laughs> I know, that's all you've been i'm thinking. googling crazy <laughs> over shit. a 15 dollar like, case in natter <laughs> yeah. days well this was before there was even a bet i just want to win <laughs> I get into things, especially if it's something in my wheelhouse like this. I'm looking up crazy YouTube videos. I'm cross cross referencing numbers and charts and Instagrams, and I don't feel super confident in my list <laughs> even after all that. It's too hard nowadays. It is there's too hard so nowadays. many fucking we're old, and there's too many rappers. Um, but yeah, so I don't know when the fuck Double XL is going to put this out, but we'll we'll keep you updated. We'll let you know who wins. Last year they took a long time because Little Sky said fuck them, and then Rich the Kid demanded to be on a uh king chair king's throne king's throne in front of or behind everyone which and he when, was on his second album cover yeah and when they wouldn't allow that he also said fuck them so uh we don't know when it's gonna come out or what's gonna come up which the fuck. kid deserved it though he brought us such great lines as she's sucking a dick so good i thought she pulled her teeth out <laughs> yeah exactly and he's a grown man so he deserves yeah, to Richard, be a freshman the grown ass he man. deserves to be a freshman um so yeah we'll we'll keep you guys updated on it everyone who listened to that and didn't turn it off as soon as we started talking in deadly about rap bless your hearts um sorry it can't be all gravy bodies and getting our asses eaten. yeah um fuck us right yeah fuck us right in our gravy bodies tell all your friends to listen to this for whatever reasons you think will work and we'll see you next week because leonard will never stop just for you buddy just for you